Hi, welcome to Carolina Cooking. I'm your host, Tom Zalunka, just an average guy trying to have a little fun here in the kitchen. Come on, throw some heat. Mm. Making up French finger food today. Keep watching. If I can do it, you can too. Do we have any more tomatoes? The worst cook on TV. What? And the best chefs in the Carolinas. Not to worry, we're trained professionals. If you can learn a lot from your mistakes, you'll learn the most from Carolina Cooking. And the shrimp. If Tom can do it, it looks delicious. so can you. Mm, now that's Carolina Cooking. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, this is incredible. Joining us here today in the Hadco Viking showroom to teach us how to make French finger food is a chef from Wilmington, North Carolina, Chef uh, Trevor Bridgewater from Chelsea's there, right? Yes, sir. Chelsea's restaurant and uh, Trevor, pardon no more, but I have seemed to have cracked your baguette when I was trying to bat for tomatoes. I, I apologize. We're not gonna need all of this, right? Right, right. We're making the tuna Canapé. Canapé, and uh, it looks to me a little bit like uh, an Italian dish. It looks like a bruschetta. It, uh, it, it is. Okay, all right, so that's uh, what, just a piece of uh, tuna seared underneath there, and then basil on top? Uh, it's just fresh spinach. Oh, okay, and some tomatoes, right? Roasted tomatoes. Oh, that sounds incredible. So, uh, I'm gonna attempt to make that, and we'll save this baguette to do so. If you wanna grab the plate and set it aside, and then tell me where to get all started. Right. And I'll start helping out here. I will start learning. First, we're gonna roast the tomatoes, so we need to get those quartered and seasoned up with fresh herbs and garlic oh, okay. and salt and pepper. Alrighty, so let me set them out there. <laughs> and quartered, do we need to cut the ends off here? Yeah. All right, go ahead and show me how you want them done. I'll get one for myself. Okay, take that piece off, down through. And like that, and we need two more? Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and do all the tomatoes. Oh. We'll put them back in the bowl and there. pick our fresh herbs okay. and toss them all together. Now this is a French recipe presentation, is that right? Am I guessing right? It's a French name, it's okay. a, and so, I guess, uh, fusion. Oh, okay, it's a kind of a fusion thing. Well, at uh, at the uh, at Chelsea's there, is uh, is it just primarily French food or? No, we have, uh, our menu's broken up into regions. We have uh, Italian items, French and Spanish. Now, do you consider yourselves to be a restaurant or do you consider yourselves to we're be? We're really, we're a wine bar, an eatery. We just, we concentrate on the wines and we try to have foods that pair well with them. Oh, okay, all right. So you have Spanish then, there's Spanish wines, so you have Spanish, yes. Italian wines clearly, so you have Italian. Uh -huh. um, New Zealand wine, so clearly you have New Zealand, right? No, 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 we stick primarily with uh, French, Spain, France, Spain, Italy, and California. Okay, alrighty. This is... Um, Fresh rosemary. Oh, rosemary. We're just gonna pick these herbs and rough chop them to toss them with the tomatoes. We don't want the stems? No. Nah. Okay, and so do I need both these here? Yeah, let's go ahead and pick all of it. Mmm, rosemary smells really good. When you use fresh herbs, you want to use more as opposed to using dried because dried uh, have more concentrated okay, flavor. Okay, so, so if you had to use dried, you would use less of yes. this? Okay, alrighty. How'd you get all these off? I'm trying not to get the stem, but I just can't seem to help myself here. A little bit of it's not a okay, good. big deal. We're gonna roast it. We have enough? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, and so just chopping this up into a fine chop, and that's actually going on here. Yeah, we'll just uh, put the tomatoes back in the bowl and toss oh. them up with the herbs and salt and pepper. Okay. Well, I have a clean bowl here now. That's perfect. All right. So tomatoes are going in here? Right. And seeds and all, really? Yes. And these are going to go in the oven? Is that correct? Yeah, we're going to roast them for about 20 minutes just to uh, bring out some of the sweetness and the flavor of the herbs. Okay. All right, and... Pinch of salt. Pinch, one pinch salt. Healthy pinch or just... Well, now I can't yeah, take it back, so hopefully right. it is a healthy pinch. And some garlic. Yeah, we're just gonna crush some garlic. Oh, that's my favorite part. Let me... <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Ever since I got shown that trick, I, I, I that's been yes. my favorite part. Because otherwise, I used to sit there and just like try to finely, you know, nah, cut down nah. the sides and nah. And then somebody showed me you used to just crush it and I was like, hey, yeah. now that's something I can do. Once that's nice and minced up, you just toss it in with the tomatoes, some extra virgin olive oil, 
and right on the pan. I like to get, put a little flash so into it. It's what I learned at Benihana. Yeah. Right. A little flash. All righty. And go right in. Flash always helps the flavor, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And crack some black pepper on there. Okay, black pepper. Yes. Tell me when. Oh, that's good right there. Oh, good. Okay. And oil? Yes. Alrighty. Tell me when. That's perfect. Okay. And this is what kind of oil? That's the extra virgin olive oil. E V O O. V O O. All right. And is there a particular brand that you prefer of olive oil? Uh, I think we'll just use a Calavita. Okay. That's plenty toss right there. Now spread them out evenly on the baking sheet. Do I need the back sides down? Does yeah, it... we're gonna put the skin side down. Okay. And this goes in the oven? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll get this guy's seeds back in him. Okay. And so it looks like that. Yes, perfect. Should they be separated or nah, together? They can it doesn't clump matter. together. It's fine. Okay, alrighty. And those will go in the oven. So if you want to grab the door for me, twenty minutes. And what did you say the temperature again? It's about three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. So what can we do in the meantime? In the meantime, we can season our tuna and slice our bread. Well, if you'll grab the baguette, we shall slice it. Yeah, I it. it you would think that the French would make a much stronger bread uh, so that the Americans could bat with it, but they don't. <laughs> Hello, France, you know? We're I just gonna slice it on an angle. Okay, at a bias? Yeah. Do you need this piece? No, that Good. quality control. I've been craving carbs since we started this show. So, do you want me to help or any, or? Uh, you can take the bread and just, I'll just spread it out. Oh, okay. Um, Spread it out here on the baking pan? On the, the baking pan, and then we're gonna season it with just salt, pepper, and some more olive oil. Now, if we didn't want to, um, could we just pop these in the toaster and then dig them out with a knife? That's what yeah, I like. Yeah. That would no, be <laughs> no, we can't. That's dangerous. No, kids, no. Jeez, I finally got a tip on this show. <laughs> I finally got one that I know firsthand is dangerous. Um, is this Is this all? Is that all we need, or oil, right? Yes, Okay. oil, salt, and pepper. All right, just drip it like yeah, that? Yeah, we're gonna drizzle it around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops, just drips and drizzles? Yes. Hmm, would a brush help in this a stage? A brush would be all right. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, but I have the finger. Nature's the one that God gave me, and if anybody finds anything wrong with that, well, it's the one God gave me, so take it up with him. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So, Trevor, what do you like to do when you're not cooking? I like to fish and surf. Surf? Yeah. Really? Do you get a lot of great waves in there in uh, Wilmington? Yeah, we get it a couple times a year. It's really good. When, when there's a storm? When there's a storm. Oh, okay. All right. Does that look good? That's perfect. Now, salt. salt and pepper. Well, salt. And we're not actually going to put these in the oven at the same time because these don't take as long, is that right? Well, you can you can do it now and have it ready for later on okay. or or wait, either way. This way they're nice and cooled if you put them in now mm -hmm. and you're not trying to do everything. So it could go at in the at end. the same temperature? Yeah, yeah. All right, you wanna drag back there? We'll throw it in, put it underneath. Those will bake, we'll keep our eye on those. And when we come back, we'll be seasoning up our tuna and we also be making some sauces for our tuna canapé canopy, canopy. canopy when Carolina cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm your host, Tom Zelenka, here with uh, Chef Trevor Bridgewater from Chelsea's there in Wilmington, North Carolina. And our bread is all crispy now. So those are done. If you just want to set them out of the way, because I think next we have to make our red sauce. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So we're going to need a... Food processor. Food processor. Yeah. Yep. And, oh, actually, I like to feed them to right, the plate right. in here. Yeah, so... Um, 
just need these? Yeah, just take one uh, roasted red bell pepper okay. and process it in the food processor. Can you get just roasted red pepper out of a can? You can, you can. Oh. Save you a lot of time. It's you the can, same quality. Can. Did you want the liquid in there? Cause yes. If you didn't, it's too late now. And are we adding oil to we're, this? We're or? not. It's just a simple jus from the pepper. Really? It's just natural flavor. That's all okay. you're going for. So you're just going to process it, and then we're going to strain it and get the juice out of it. How long does it go? Uh, until it gets uh, liquefied. You're starting to get attacked by pepper juice, so right, I saved you. I want you to know <laughs> that I saved you, and um, it will all be on my hand. There you so, go. So, we ready That's now? That's perfect. Right all there. right. Take it and strain it right back into this. Okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yep, you just grab the center part there. I'll hold the strainer, and there it goes. All it's right. really light, it's good. Good Which topping. You're not are adding any vinegar. Here? We're keeping the liquid. In the uh, uh, oh, at the bottom or yes. in, the, in the top here. So what are we doing with stuff in the top? We can uh, you can add it to soups or other okay. sauces, anything like right. that. We're just, we're just gonna reserve it. Okay, I got you. Okay, so we'll leave this to strain here for a second. And what are we doing with these? This is this is just fresh baby spinach, and we're gonna take it and roll it up and slice it finely, a chiffonade. Oh, roll it up and slice it. Okay, I got you. And uh, so. You go ahead and grab a pile there, and this is for our garnish at the this end. This is garnish. It also gives the uh, it gives a little texture and color with the. Here's a knife. Oh, you the, got your own. Yeah, of course. Alrighty, and oh, you rolled it the other way. Which way is chiffonade? Chiffonade. Does it's it just matter? A thin slice. Okay. I'm rolling mine up this way now. And then it'll just be ready when we start to plate our canapé. Watch out, fingers. Keep the thumb back. Okay. There we go. Little stringies, little stringies, little stringies. And now we have a piece of tuna here. And I'm gonna, oh, our skillet is hot. Good, good. And what do we need to do to our piece of tuna? We're gonna season the tuna with oil, salt, and pepper. Oil, salt, yes. and pepper? Oil first? Oil first. Okay. That's plenty right there. Okay. Just rub it around with your <laughs> fingers. Make sure you coat oh, all sides of it too. There. Mm hmm. Okay. Alrighty, coating with extra virgin and the fingers. Not nature's brush. Nature's brush. Nature's brush. That's right. And there we go. Just gonna take and sprinkle some kosher salt. Oh, okay. Sprinkling kosher salt Cover all over all my fingers over. because that's where we needed the salt. Nature's there brush. There we go. Alrighty. And do we need pepper? Yes. Yeah. You can't. Uh, Got to find a new way to grip this thing once you've put oil over over nature's. Nature's uh, fingers. There you go. Nature's brushes. Okay. And is that enough pepper? That's plenty of pepper right there. <laughs> is that too much pepper? That's perfect. Okay, good. All righty. And so now, piece of tuna. We're going to sear it, but put some oil in the pan first and we're going to get it hot. Oil uh, I'm going to smoking hot to sear the outside of the tuna. Really? Smoking hot? Smoking hot. All right. Mm -hmm. It's not going to take very long. I'm going to check the tomatoes while. Okay, all right, go take a look. I'll just be here waiting for my oil to smoke. Trevor, I think it's smoking now. We can start the Trevor, tuna. Trevor, smoking, okay. All right, so, um, oh, I did Usually it Usually when you do, yeah, yeah with the I, hot do it oil, away from you. Okay. you do it away from me. I try to remember. I mean, I, my middle name is Safety First. I really, though, don't know why my mom named me that. I think it's just so I got beat up in school. So um, we're going to go ahead and let our uh, tuna sear here, and then we're going to flip it. We're not actually going to cook it that long. Tops, no, it's, a, it's a rare. It's a three, four minutes. Three, four minutes. And when we come back, I'll be talking to Eris Ragazais and find out what beverage he's paired with our tuna canopies. When Carol, can canapé. Canapé. Carolina cooking. Continue. The Carolina Cooking Cookbook is in stores now. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, The Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find The Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Barnes & Noble, Target, Orders Books, Amazon.com, and our website, carolinacooking.tv. That's right, carolinacooking.tv. All the recipes you've seen on the show, wine pairings, advice from the chefs, and Tom. Get the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas in The Carolina Cooking Cookbook. 
bruschetta is the best way I can describe okay. it. Okay, welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with Eris Ragazes, our wine expertiso aficionado, and uh, making me blush now. But I had, now I have a question. We're making canapes, Eris, and and you brought a rosé, which. In my mind, a rosé is... Mm, well, unfortunately, mm. that same thing is in the mind of most people. Mm -hmm. And it's understandable because for many years, most of the California wineries were making rosés uh, just sort of sweet and fruity, almost like a vinous version of Kool-Aid. Yeah. But Etude has taken this seriously, just like most of the Europeans okay. take their rosés as a legitimate wine style. And I'm going to make one of them bold statements now. Oh, gosh. You know, oh, I get, well, hey, yeah, I get cool on these once in a while, but I'm confident this watching. time. Okay. Etude is making the best rosé in California. Wow. This is taken from their best Pinot Noir vineyard in the, in the Carneros. Mm -hmm. Etude also makes one of the best Pinot Noirs in California. And this is taken from some of their premium grapes. And they make it from start to finish with the idea that they're making a rosé. This is not an afterthought. Mm. It's not taken from the grapes that didn't quite make it. Okay. The only difference is that they don't keep it on the skins as long as the red wine. And it's the skins that have all the color, but it's the skins that also have all the tannin. So when you don't extract out all the color, you don't also extract out all oh. the tannin. And so the wine is, has distinct red wine flavors, but has virtually no tannin, but has good crisp acidity. So it's like a red wine and a, and a white wine, just like a rosé is supposed to be. Mm, very fragrant, very fruity. A lovely light strawberry. Mm -hmm. Aromas, but a little bit of a nice earthy touch of that mm -hmm. classic, you know, it, it still smells like Pinot Noir, just on a lighter scale. Yeah, a little, little tannins in there, but it's very light. But it's that's got that good crisp acidity. This is a good, versatile wine. Yep. It'll go with fish, it'll go with chicken. Uh, my favorite combination of rosé is with ham. Really? Yeah. The, ham. The, yeah, the color is perfect, and it's just the right body weight, and it's just got just enough red wine flavor, but just that white wine crispness. Okay. Alrighty, well, and I think it's actually going to go with tuna It'll go very well, because yeah. this is, this and the is tomatoes top of the line the stuff. Uh, speaking of the tomatoes, I, they're in the oven, and, and we're roasting them, so I've got to get back there and, don't go burn and get them out. Down. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to burn the tomatoes, so I'm going to be heading back to the kitchen and pulling those tomatoes out of the oven when Carolina Cooking continues. Yeah. You may have converted me over to the website. Go to carolinacooking.tv for the recipes featured on this show. Plus, on carolinacooking.tv, you'll find more information on the wine, chefs, and foods of Carolina Cooking. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with Chef Trevor Bridgewater from Chelsea's there in Wilmington, North Carolina, and we're taking the skins off our uh, tomatoes that roasted in the oven and uh, go ahead and show exactly how this is done. You just gotta kinda try to find a, a corner here that you can get under, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna, you know, try your best to peel off as much skin as you can. You can do it all fast like Trevor does it, but you know, I like to take my time and love on each tomato because I think that increases the flavor of each uh, tomato. But sure, if you wanna be all fast and Mr. Chefy and just Rip them off like Trevor does. I guess you can do it that way too, you know. Just show a guy up if you want to. Make him feel bad and cry on his own TV show. That's cool. Okay. So uh, these are, is, is that finished or do we have to chop them up? Uh, we're going to chop them up. Okay. Just a rough chop uh, so we can top the tuna with. Alrighty, so. They're pretty soft now that they've been roasted. They're very soft now. Racing helps bring out a lot of the flavors. Okay. So is that a good pile of um, yeah, chopped mush? Perfect. Mush pile? Mush pile. Is that what you guys call it? Is that the technical term for it? Roasted. Roasted. Okay. Right. So mush pile, not as appetizing. Right. So um, now we put these thingies down? The, yeah. The, and we're going to slice the tuna that, that we pieces. seared. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pattern and a star. There we go. I could have put them closer to myself, but um, I chose not to. And so there we go. All right. And then, so now we still have to slice the tuna. Yeah. You kind of just want to get slices that uh, match up to the size of the bread. Okay. So how am I doing this? Like I would slice it away from me. There like you that? Go. Yes. And, and is there green here? Something I'm supposed to worry yeah, about? There you go. If you do it at that angle right there, it'd be nice. Okay. And how thin am I supposed to be making this? This are good right there. Okay. And uh, just a slice that matches the baguette. Yep. All right, and if it doesn't match, we can just we eat can off the end? It. Yeah, we can. Okay, we'll just nibble on the end and make it, nibble it to match, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, is that enough tuna? That should, that should cover it. 
And that's uh, good for that you. And this one's good for you. And that's pretty good for you. And then the smaller piece for you. And then, ooh, yeah. perfect for there. That, what goes on top? We're gonna do the tomatoes. Beer. There we go. Okay. And? Then we're gonna top it with the chiffonade spinach. Chiffonade spinach. And this is just baby spinach? It's just baby Raw. spinach. Baby Raw. spinach, okay. Gives it Feel some free texture. to jump in there and hit some more of these. Okay, we don't need that piece. Okay, and then uh, we have our red sauce here, which if you remember was just uh, the red pepper, the roasted red pepper that we pureed up, right? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, and this just drizzles just, over just top? Just drizzle lightly over each one. Okay, or splatter, which is my technique. I'm more of a splatter than a drizzler, and so like that. That's gonna do a it. in the center to make it look like a mint to splatter everywhere. And we're all done. Finish with the olive oil. Oh, finish with a drizzle and olive oil. And some cracked oil. pepper. And some cracked pepper. I can do the pepper. Well, thank you very much, Trevor. Excellent teacher, excellent chef here. I appreciate it for you coming out and teaching me this uh, wonderful recipe. Thanks thank for Thank you. Me. And if you want to find out more about our uh, recipe or our wine or our chef here or Chelsea's there in Wilmington, North Carolina, visit our website at carolinacooking.tv. I'm Tom Zalink here with Trevor Bridgewater, chef of Chelsea's, and that's Carolina Cooking. Mm -mm -mm. This is my favorite part. Mm. Go to carolinacooking.tv for the recipes featured on this show. Plus, on carolinacooking.tv, you'll find more information on the wine, chefs, and foods of Carolina Cooking. That's carolinacooking.tv. Carolina Cooking is filmed on location at the Hadco Viking Showroom at 101 West Worthington Avenue in Charlotte, North Carolina. To find more information or a Viking Showroom near you, call 1-800-241-9152 or visit hadco.net.